Welcome to Cebu Expat by Matt Wilkie, discussing expat life in the Philippines. Okay, this is another important one. Ten foot tall. Um, it's a phrase you'll hear people say from time to time. Basically, it's for a lot of people going to the Philippines for the first time. A lot of people haven't been out of their country, state, region, whatever. Um, and the way Western things are, a lot of people don't get much appreciation from women. They're not used to people being polite to them because the West is a bit of a... I'm trying not to swear, but it's, let's just put it this way. I'm currently in the UK. I'm going back to Spain next month. Um, I've already quit work. So it's the UK is just the pits. Um, but anyway, what I... What happens is people arrive and people give them a lot more respect purely because they're a foreigner. Um, even people associated with you. For example, when you get your partner, she could have been going to the same shopping mall for the last 15, 20 years and nobody takes any notice. But when she's with you, they start opening the, the, uh, the guards start opening the door for her. It's, it's all to do with wealth. Um, and even though he may not have a lot of wealth, it's a lot of assumed wealth. And as such, um, these guys can either be um, thankful, appreciative, etc. Or they can have a bit of an ego issue, which is where I feel 10 foot tall sort of thing, where they start to abuse it a bit and get a bit complacent. Um, my best advice is just take it as a compliment but don't take it for something to abuse um, because for example rich Filipinos don't see you as any status whatsoever they um, they appreciate people for being pre uh, people because often um, the wealthier Filipinos are often um, have mixed families be it from Spanish ancestry Chinese Indian, whatever, you know, the fact is they are already um, not pure-blooded Filipinos in many ways. Nothing wrong with it, but at the same time, they understand their culture a lot better than you do. And also when you think you're the big man and try to be somebody, they can knock you down quite quick. Um, they don't see you as any threat or anything that bothers them. Uh, if anything, it's why some expats end up in some very bad situations by upsetting somebody. Um, I know somebody personally that had a car crash with a local mayor, didn't know who the mayor was, something happened and he no longer lives in the Philippines. Um, he basically disappeared that day and that, now live in, in the UK. Um, those things happen because egos take over. I'm important, you know, because the average little guy, um, he isn't trying to square up to you. He's got his daily life and he, he wants to see you in that, not for a financial gain or anything, but simply you're somebody new. You're, you're exciting because you're not from the Philippines. You're, you're somebody that's interesting. You're somebody that he can talk to and find out things that he may not know. Um, so he likes you, but some of the wealthier Filipinos may not like you because there's a lot of bad expats in the Philippines. Whether we like it or not, they're there. Um, which is why they can be a bit tired of expats, I would say, in some ways. Um, that's why you'll see, uh, well, you hear the phrase, if you don't like it, go home. Um, it's one used a lot, um, normally by political um, people. Um, but at the same time, that's the area you want to avoid in the Philippines. So the Philippines, stay away from the politics um, and stay away from the people involved in politics because even with association, there is a risk. Um, you'll find that even with charities, for example, there's a lot of charities that have no political association because it's part of their funding, licensing, etc. But come election time, politicians take an interest in them because they like to have the little child or whatever just for a bit of uh, PR for themselves and they'll promise the charity XYZ just to 
um, exploit the situation for election. So even that can have a negative effect because if you get funding from a local government and it's Mayor A and Mayor B comes in and promises you Eric that you're supporting his campaign and you think, you know what, let's go for it. Um, the result being that the other mayor retains his seat and then cuts your funding off and it could be that he removes buildings and stuff because he controls all the permits etc and it does happen i've seen it with some social workers there was i think it was five social workers one of the ones i know um they're i can't remember if they're related to my wife or not because it was an interesting conversation um but the other four their husbands were involved with a prior mayor's political campaign um, but then the four um, social workers then decided to give it some of that and start spreading rumors about the the other mayor that was running for election you know the guy that's running for an election um, so what happens well the guy they were giving all that won the election the four uh, social workers were fired as soon as they could you know they basically the mayor just removed their jobs that was it and that's how political things can be because this is why you hear you know when people say oh filipinos don't argue they don't put up enough fight and it's, it's because they're very aware that those that control the, the power will hammer them down in an instant and that's how it's controlled it's that simple you know you speak out about this it may affect you trying to open a restaurant or something later because the guy that then gets into power may not may not be the person you're associated with and he'll block every permit that you need to operate a business um it is that petty it really is so be aware of the they'll being 10 foot tall stuff there's plenty of people out there that will take you down to size in an instant um there's been many an expat in jail there's been many an expat that's uh in a wooden box there's been many an expat that's had to leave the country in the middle of the night and a lot of it is because they were 10 foot tall until somebody took them down to about this size okay thanks for watching